All right, fifth graders, if you have not gotten the memo, you are entering your last few days as fifth grade students, as elementary school students, as students at Simon School, even though you're technically not at Simon School, you know what I mean. Um, usually at the end of the school year, there are a couple special writing assignments that I give to you as fifth graders that I think are really important. The one that comes first is thinking about your legacy. Now, that might be a term that you're familiar with or it might not be a term that you're familiar with. So I just want to talk through it before I ask you to write about your legacy. So legacy is kind of like what is left behind by someone and it's, it's the things that we remember about them. So for example, my grandmother isn't alive anymore, but she was very good about always writing people notes. She would write notes to say thank you. She would write notes for birthdays. She would write notes for anniversaries. She would write notes to help you remember the time that you graduated from college, which was 10 years ago. And that's her legacy. And I like to remember that legacy by writing notes to people to remember special events in their lives and let them know that I'm thinking about them. And I get that from my Nana, that's her legacy. So that's a personal example of what a legacy is. You all are leaving Simon School, although you can always come back and visit. And you have had time there where you have left your figurative fingerprints on our school. Maybe it's the way that you went about learning, where we changed the way that we teach because you had a really clever idea that made that one math assignment work a lot better for people. Or maybe you had a great idea for how we could improve how we play games at PE or whatever it is. You impacted the school. The school is not the same because you were a part of it. What I want you to think about is what you want your legacy to be, what you want your teachers and your other schoolmates to remember about you at Simon School. And we're looking for positive things, legacies are positive kinds of things. So it could be something academic, like you worked really hard on every Kearsarge Math League and that's what you want people to remember about you. Or maybe it's that you were really creative and you loved art so much, you got excited every time we had art class and that's your legacy that you want to leave behind enthusiasm for art class. Or maybe you were a really good friend and you want to leave behind a legacy of good friendships at Simon School. Whatever the legacy is that you want to leave behind, I want you to write about it because it's you're hoping that you will see that continue on in our school, something that was important to you that you want to see continue on, okay? And some of you, I already know what your legacy is. I can already see the impact you've made on teachers and your friends at Simon School. Um, but I'm curious to see what you guys come up with. So this is a pretty personal thing. I'll leave it as an option for you guys to share your legacies with each other. Um, but I would love to take a look at that. All right. That is your fifth grade legacy writing assignment.